Walmart.com surpasses Amazon in average annual spending. So according to recent data, Walmart.com now exceeds Amazon in average annual customer spending in the U.S., reaching over $1,400 as of July 2024 compared to Amazon's $1,000. The difference is largely driven by larger grocery orders placed for in-store or curbside pickups through Walmart.com. Walmart.com and Amazon shoppers have similar order frequencies, but Walmart's average transaction size is notably higher. The introduction of Walmart Plus in 2021 also contributed to the increase in spending. So, Danon, what do you think? I think this is borderline a useless metric, if <laughs> I'm being honest. That may, you know, Walmart has always been a place where people go and get their groceries and clothing and stuff like that. All that's happened is the what would be in store is now going through dot com. Mm -hmm. That's that's the way I see it. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I I'm rooting for Walmart to be able to truly become a competitor to Amazon and and bring some real competition into the market. But these transactions were already happening. Yeah, it's so just you think it's a little manipulation of the data. Well, I wouldn't call it a manip manipulation of the data, but I would call it a, a reported metric that has as v zero value because those transactions were already occurring in store, mm -hmm. right? Maybe, maybe people spend a little bit more on .com because they can also get other things. Well, I mean, I, not maybe, definitely. People are all buying more things. They have access to more stuff on .com, right? But they always went there for the groceries. Mm -hmm. So so just the location of the money flow has changed. And True. maybe it even costs Amazon more money because they're not physically swiping that card in store, right? But who knows? I mean, I, I, just, I just don't really see that this has any bearing whatsoever on, like, I think that this news article is be like, oh my gosh, Walmart's, they're making the push. They're doing some stuff. It ain't true. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, definitely a, a fair point. I think, uh, you know, at the same time, the one of the most important metrics for any business is the lifetime value of a customer. Sure. And so at a minimum, this kind of news probably pushes Walmart stock higher, which it's, can be beneficial. But yeah, I, I do agree that the most important <laughs> metric, of course, is percentage of e com sales. Uh, for the whole market, right? And Amazon, of course, still dominates that quite a yep. lot. Yeah. 